G'day guys. The other video I put out, I said, uh, you know, if someone wants their uh, detector, um, uses a bit of a, a guinea pig to uh, try some updates or upgrades in the detectors, let me know. Well, lo and behold, I got two GPX 7000s. So two prospectors have uh, dropped off the 7000s. And I thought about it, the best way to get uh, a valid result on upgrades and to make a really good video, good reference, is have two and upgrade one and leave the other standard and then run the comparisons. So let's put these down because they are heavy. Um, you know, you could just about use this as an arm exercise. My God, it's heavy. Um, so I'll put these down. I've got to label those up so I don't uh, confuse which bits go with what detector. So every part of it will have to be labelled. So that's um, the 7000. And I've also got a 6000 coming. Um, a fellow... Um, that we've done work for in the past is sending me uh, the 6,000. So 6,000 and 7,000 is very, very similar uh, in the way the front end module is, that it's encased and resin set. So I'll be able to um, try what I'm doing with the 7,000 in the 6,000 and it should work also. But uh, proof, proof of the pudding will be doing it and taking it out to a test site and giving it a go. So that's the update there. Um, got uh, two 7000s. One is a, uh, a yardstick reference for the time being and the other will be um, upgraded. And on testing, if, they, if the uh, upgraded uh, detector has a performance advantage over the non-upgraded detector, then I'll upgrade the other detector so they're both the same. Then I will give them back to their respective owners and they can run around prospecting. Uh, these guys do a lot of pros prospecting, so that's good. So it's not gonna go home and sit in the cupboard. So we're gonna get a lot of feedback off this and maybe even uh, go out with them and uh, in their, you know, or don't know if they want to give their areas away, but we can, I can put them onto some uh, spots that I know and they can uh, test out the detectors and they can give feedback um, as they see it, as they're using the detector. But we'll let them have it for a couple of weeks first and uh, then go out. So, you know, it's not uh, spare of the moment. What are your thoughts? How about use it, try it, and then give us the feedback. That's probably the better way of going. Yeah, so I'm also chomping at the bit to get the 6,000 as well. That's gonna be quite interesting. A lot of prospectors, and from my own experience, uh, as in my experience, in my opinion, is a very noisy detector in some circumstances. And other prospectors um, also have said that it is a noisy detector. Um, it, it is uh, good on very small gold that I know of. And the reason is probably it runs a lot of gain, it's noisy and uh, thus pings like hell on small gold. But like I say, that's my opinion. Um, yeah, that's it. I'm just going to cut this one short because uh, just uh, doing an update on what's happening. Uh, nothing else much is happening, except this is now the project. I've done a, some detectors, got all, got all the detectors I've had um, out of the way, except one. I've got one to do. It's a investigation uh, for a noise issue. So 
that belongs to Ron. Ron, if you're watching the video, your detector's on my bench. Don't worry, I'm taking care of it. We'll see what's going on. Uh, he's saying it makes clicking sounds every so often. So we're going to see what could possibly be the cause of that. Sounds like uh, something breaking down, but uh, we'll find out. I'll find it. Okay, guys, catch us and uh, keep uh, an eye open or actually better off subscribing. Subscribe to the channel because when I do the 7000s, I'll have them on the bench. I'll put the camera right over them and we'll go through the whole circuit of the 7000 and point out what does what and how it all works. So if you want to know that, I'll do that. Anyway, catch us later.